Welcome back, Cyber Traders, on this lovely Monday. What's today's date again? Today's what, the 9th? Uh, let me tell you, put that on the record books, okay? So, guys, don't forget, big, big day that's going on. Market is up almost 1,650 points and is still going. You obviously know what the news is. If you are a trader, um, I woke up. I had alerts all over my phone coming across. I woke up at 5 a.m., and you know, all of a sudden, I'm starting to see this market have this big rally. What the hell is going on? I guess you all know the news. Five Sir said their vaccine for COVID-19 is 90% accurate, and they are going to start distributing it starting by the end of this month. They're going to fast track it. You know, listen, they said they were coming out with one. All right, you have to admit it. They did say it, and guess what? And when did we say it was going to come out? The end of November, and uh, we did it. We did it. So congratulations. And the market is obviously reacting to it. So I'm actually showing you right now Zoom, okay? Zoom is probably the most well-known names that benefited from the coronavirus. And, you know, I know everybody's starting to freak out. We're looking at airlines. We're looking at Uber. We're looking at bank stocks. I mean, I can go on and on and on. But what about shorting? Guys, there are great opportunities to short. I really think people don't even realize that yet, that there's a huge short going on. We're going to talk about them. All those stocks that benefit from it, Pelican, Square, um, Amazon, Wix, all these companies, these online stores are getting hammered and they're going to get crushed. Believe me, whatever goes up always comes back down. There's still opportunities out there. We're going to talk a little bit about it, but today is a day of happiness, okay? And everyone should be happy about it because this is what we do here in the United States of America. We put our heads to it. We got the best entrepreneurs when it comes down to thinking this stuff up and building it and making it. That's why everyone wants a piece of the United States. They know that we're the ones that do the best job doing it. And you can see we always prevail at the end. So it was an ugly, deadly war. And guess what? We won the war and we're going to do the best of what we can. So the market's obviously benefiting from it. I'm just so I'm just waiting for us to break 30,000 because we're right back to where we were back when we had we, we were peaking out. And like I told you, if it wasn't for the virus, when I was telling you back in November, I mean, uh, back in March, I, I honestly thought the market, we were going to close at like 32, 35,000 by the end of the year. And I'm talking about, and I, I was predicting this back then, but then when the, when the virus hit, I told you, anything could happen, anything. And you know what? We could still go down to 18,000. That could happen. And hopefully you learn your lesson. How is that possibly happening, Fausto? Listen, who says? Who says somebody else comes out with another virus? Has a China all of a sudden had another virus come out? You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, God forbid. I'm not saying, you know, I'm just, I'm speculating. But I'm just saying that hopefully everybody learned a valuable lesson that, you know, this has to be probably, in my lifetime, doing this for 25 years, the most volatile market I ever traded in. I've been through every single crash. I've been through the financial crisis. I've been through 9-11. Uh, I keep repeating it. You know, I've been through the internet bubble. I've never seen a market drop going from 29,000, 10,000 points and coming right back within the same year. That's unprecedented. But anyway, a lot of company people made money on it. And now we're going to obviously you can do the opposite. So guys, don't be afraid to short. Okay. Do not be afraid to short because there's opportunities there. Now, I know some of you can't short because you're trading IRAs, whatever it is. But listen, there's a lot of companies out there that are doing pretty well. Let's just do a couple of pop-ups really quick. You know, just, just talking about last week, what happened. You know, remember we were talking about, uh, I just want to touch upon that. Listen, all these um, uh, cannabis stocks are doing great. Uh, listen, ACB is doing great again. Listen, we were watching that stock. Stock's been doing phenomenal. Put that stock on your watch list. All these pot stocks are doing good. You have that one. They report earnings. Uh, they're doing pretty well. CGC, also another one. All these, these stocks are doing really, really well. And I have them all back on my watch list. My list is so damn big. This has to be probably one of the biggest lists I've done on a Monday that I could even remember in the past 25 years. This is just unprecedented. But anyway. A couple of good stocks did pretty well. Even COTY, you can see more from three to four. But Fridays, we know how Fridays trades. But let's go to what's happening on a Monday morning. Um, anyway, Uber, killing it right now. Killing it. Look at it. 
Uber. Um, and, and by the way, it's not to do about just the vaccine. This stock, obviously, uh, California tried to pass a law that would have crushed Uber. And uh, section what was it section 230. And we've been doing that really well. This just adds fuel to the fire of the stock doing great. What happened on the news? You have Uber, Lyft. Lyft is obviously benefiting from it also. But there's also a bunch of them. American Airlines doing great. TripAdvisor doing great. Okay, they're all coming back big time. I just keep bringing up UAL. Look at it. All of them up 21%. I mean, 21%. When's the last time you saw United Airlines up 21%? All right. What else that we have? WFC. All the bank stocks are doing pretty well. There's a stock that I was a very big fan of for a while. I got out of it. I kind of jumped back in it again. I was a fan of banks. But this one obviously took, you know, took a huge hit. AMC doing well. Another good stock. You know, listen, all these things are going to start to prevail. CNK. Uh, a big pop right here, up 39%. Look at those big moves right there. It's probably coming up to a highs. I mean, the list is just unheard of. I, I, you could just go down the list. NCM, uh, NCMI, another one up 20%. Another stock doing play. Who is that? Dun uh, Dave & Buster's. Took a major hit, up about another 22%. So all those stocks are doing well. And let me just, just touch upon all the ones that are getting crushed. Um, I thank God I got on my Pinterest. I mean, that thing was obviously benefiting from it. But Pinterest, you know, made a big comeback, took a huge hit because of it. Pinterest. Wick. It's taking a big hit from that. That stock was another big fan of mine. You know, I got out of that right around 285. But it made a big comeback. You know, Wayfair huge made a killing look well went from 50 for crying out loud to over 350 that was probably the best one of the best out there amazon getting killed right now down you know three percent it's down almost 100 points uh what else that we have that's getting killed square all these online stocks square killed it killed it Okay, stock had a great, great earnings announcement. Look at that little pop right there last couple of days, when 150 to almost 200. Okay, so um, I mean, it's not down a lot. It's only about 10%. Square, Zoom, I mean, that's going to get it. Pelican, how about that one? Everyone keeps talking about Pelican, right? That was another big winner because of it. Everybody buy Pelican working out from home. Look at that stock. One basic stock's about over down, to, uh, down 20 bucks. Uh, OPK, another one. They're all getting hit. So all these stocks are obviously taking big, big hits. So anyway, a lot of great opportunities today to make money. This is what I basically would kind of look at what to do this morning. Um, I would probably, I think it's going to be a, a little bit of a big push. I think there's going to be some profit taking. I personally don't like to trade when the market's up this much because people are going to always look to take profits uh, regarding what's happening in the market. So I'll be really, really careful and thinking about like, is this the bottom? Let the stock cool off um, as day traders. I, I, I'd be really careful about day trading right now, as in maybe taking quick uh, 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 in and out. Swing trading, I would wait for the smoke to clear a little bit, let things settle down, and then look for those stocks that you always want to buy that got really, really crushed, and then go from there. I have a bunch of, a bunch of shares of CSQ. I told you about that stock. Uh, I can't wait to see how that thing's going to open up. It doesn't doesn't give you any numbers until the market opens up. This thing opens up when the market opens up. But um, I know I, I told a bunch of you, I jumped in right there at the lows right here, right around here. I got in at around 1280, right around there I got in. Right when I hit that low right there, I jumped in. So I'm looking pretty, you know, I think the stock's open above 15. I don't know a shitload of shares of this one. Okay, I've been a big, big fan. Uh, I know a lot of us bought it right here around when it, when it came down to 780. I sold it. I moved money around. I was day trading some other things, but I jumped back into it. This stock trades the market very, very heavily. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Michael's saying the RCL is rocketing too. I mean, listen, they gapped up a lot. Okay. So you can't really jump in them right now. You got to wait for the smoke to clear. Okay. And that's right, Lewis. The CSQ pays a nice little dividend, that 9%. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. So we got a big list going on. Anything I'm missing, guys? And then call anybody on YouTube, Facebook Live. 
Anybody else? I think we pretty much got, went through the list. All right, so we got our pretty decent list. This is ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm going to put this on the watch list. I'll be honest with you. It's so damn long. But let's go out there. Let's focus. Let's work together like a team. Before we move on, listen, I know today's Monday. Um, you, should, you guys should be happy about what's happening. That's great that we got this 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 vaccine. Obviously, it's working out. Just leave it to the experts, you know, like they said. And, um, you know, and I know we have a lot of new members that are joining us today here in the side group room. Please, uh, for all new traders that are in the room today, remember what we told you. You're only here to watch. Don't watch me. Don't watch my instructors. Watch the other traders in the room. See if other people make money. That's the most important thing to know if you're part of the right team, the right family. And uh, see, you know, because like I said, if they could do it, you could do it, right? They're there. They started just like you, you know, and that's why you have to look at it. So, um, so don't look at us bragging how much money we make. We don't do that. We'll talk about points, but sit back and learn. And if you watch us YouTube, Facebook Live, just click on the bottom. If you want to join us for a lousy stinking little $9 for one week, just do it and see what the real truth is. Because if you're not getting into trading right now, I don't know what you're waiting for. You got to get into it. After seeing a day like today, you know what? You're probably kicking yourself in the butt. You should have jumped in a couple of weeks ago. But uh, listen, I always tell everybody this. The stock market is not going out of business, okay? We go up, we go down. We just don't want flat. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you back here at 2.30. And for all the cyber traders in the room, remember, we're going to start commentating five minutes right after the open. Good luck, everyone, and be safe.